Welcome back to Grit Gym. Obviously, I'm not alone right now. We have Kyle Hausbeck here. Uh, Kyle is a pharmacist. If you guys have questions about nutrition um, or about supplementation, he's the guy to ask. Uh, super intelligent dude, really. Uh, Kyle and I actually lived across the hall from each other in college, which is kind of a crazy thing that we ended up in Iowa City from in a, in a similar kind of... Uh, we don't call it like vocation where we wanted to help people uh, with their health. So kind of kind of interesting because we were on we were actually on two different collegiate paths uh, when <laughs> we were there. Um, it's it's kind of funny to think back on the uh, why did I grab pen um, on the times back then. But anyway, please slap the share button, hit like, and uh, obscurity is our biggest issue. We want to get this message out to as many people as possible. We're trying to inspire the experience that people want to live. Health is your number one resource in this life, and we're going to talk about a little bit in the nutrition realm. Remember, there's, health is made up of four pillars, exercise, nutrition, mindset, and recovery. If you don't have all four, there's going to be a problem. Your body's going to do something at some point to break down and not give you what you want. And we were just talking about one of the things that you experienced as a pharmacist where uh, 30 year olds couldn't climb, couldn't yeah. climb a flight of stairs, whereas like 70 year olds, is that what you were saying? Yeah. We climb mountains. So yeah, yeah, I was basically out and, uh, well, I should start by saying I'm just, I'm a non-traditional pharmacist. I'm one that I, I believe nutrition is paramount to anything. So, yeah. Um, so you're not just a drug pusher, you're yeah, actually... Exactly. Like, yeah, exactly. And I, I don't work in a traditional pharmacy anymore. I used to be more retail pharmacy. Right now I work for a company called Pinnacle, if you can see it there. Um, we'll be sure to share some of that info there. You'll see us online. But um, we do make supplements. And so kind of talking about how I got into that field. Yeah. Um, basically, as a pharmacist, I remember being out in... I was in Boulder, Colorado, out climbing mountains, riding bikes, and doing all this stuff. And I remember sitting on top of a mountain completely winded and proud of myself for climbing that yeah. mountain and Very up proud. comes some guy in his 70s just this old guy comes running up the side like running um and he goes what a be what a beautiful view and he goes running right back down the side <laughs> no time to experience exactly. the beautiful view and i'm thinking about the whole time i i go back come back home to my patients and like you said 30 year olds that couldn't bend over and tie their shoes they're taking the elevators instead of the stairs and i said man you know this idea of being frail and fragile and sick in our 70s, well, sure, if I'm not even healthy in my 30s, yeah. what do I have to hope for in 70s? So that kind of changed the way I look at things. Yeah. Um, then I said the, one of the best blessings of, I worked in a pharmacy at a grocery store, and the best part of that is I could see the food people were buying and the medicine they needed because of it. And after so much time of these transactions, I'm selling you ice cream and insulin at the same time. Um, as much as I complain about that, it taught me a lot. And the thing yeah. I noticed is there was no nutrition in people's carts, at least the people coming to my pharmacy. No veggies, um, it was processed food, processed food, processed food, no nutrition in there. Well, I'm a biochemist first and foremost, well, I started in biochemistry and I learned all these little nutrients, these vitamins, these amino acids, all that stuff. They're a big deal. Pretty important. <laughs> um, so, looked at their cart, they're not eating it. Guess what? I'm telling you, you need to eat vegetables. You need to eat vegetables. And yeah. my patients say, I don't like spinach, I'm not going to eat it. I don't like broccoli, I'm not going to eat it. Yeah. And as ideal um, as I want to say, yes, it'd be great if you can get all this from your food. I'm a realist. I saw that my patients weren't going to eat it. And I said... I can tell you all day long to eat this, and if you're not going to, how can I meet you in the middle? Your body still needs these nutrients. Sure, sure. So I go to my shelf and I look at the vitamins, and all I see is the none a days. Oh. Talk the about none a days. Yeah, he talked the about that. That's funny. Yesterday, a little bit. Some <laughs> of the worst ones out there are the most commonly used. Yeah, um, and that's what a lot of the studies are based on too. Well, maybe not the worst ones, but the uh, yeah. the most pointless, exactly. the, the biggest drains of money, the the ones that don't do anything for you, are the most sold supplements exactly in the world today. Yeah. And so yeah, and then even when you see the studies that say, oh, there's no use in using supplements or vitamins, um, well, guess what they use in their study? They they use the bad, yeah. none a day vitamins. So. Um, I looked at that, I didn't like what I saw, I said, let's find something that looks like a vegetable, something that looks like 
you know, how do we find folate in my food? It's not, it's not folic acid in my food. It's, you know, methylfolate. Let's find something that uses those nerd natural things. So yeah. <laughs> um, and I can go through that on a lot of stuff, but yeah, it's not one form of vitamin E. It's eight forms of vitamin E that's in our diet. So why yeah. am I supplementing with one form? Yeah. And, that, and I mean, that just goes into like the whole, like nature doesn't usually screw up. No. You know, like if, if you go back to nature or towards nature, obviously we can get too far with that or we can go pretty far with that to where yeah. it's like, oh, we got to be living uh, in a, like in a cave with only a loincloth. Like, exactly. I mean, how far back to nature are you really going to go? But there's something to be said for just eating, eating, you're eating your fruits and vegetables. You know what I mean? Yeah. Eating grass fed beef because grain fed beef maybe is just it's fat and diabetic. Yeah. Yeah. Is Guess it, what? Eating too much grain makes you fat and diabetic. We feed our cows too much grain. They become fat and diabetic too. Uh, <laughs> Eating fat and diabetic yeah. animals can make you fat and diabetic, so it's it's an interesting thing. Tell them about your your health journey too, because uh, yep. you weren't always where you are now. <laughs> no, I, I, is that was was that a non judgmental way of saying that? Yes, no, yeah. very good. Um, yeah, yeah, so and this goes back to even like I said when I was out in Colorado, um, and actually when we lived across the hall from each other. Yeah, I was coming in at two fifty, and yeah. that was not the muscular two fifty that. And y'all might think I was. something to keep in mind. Like I was the complete opposite of that, yeah. and not in a good way. And I mean that in a, in a yeah. negative way. Like I was like four and a half percent body fat, starving myself, thinking that I was fat, yeah. and like not healthy whatsoever, yeah. and, and working my ass off without any recovery, drinking like crazy. Uh, That's all that. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's at like two sides of it at different point, but both just as unhealthy. Yeah, you know, like and yeah, and I was two hundred and fifty pounds and just big boned. You know, that's just my body style. Um, I had been over two hundred pounds since I was probably fourteen years old. Never so thought I'd be below that. You got classic endomorphia, right? Puts on yeah. muscle fairly easily, puts on fat real, real easy, easy, doesn't take off fat well, doesn't respond to carbohydrates very well, responds to high protein diet very well, you know, like endomorph through and through. Yeah. Mesomorph, then you see some people are more the ectomorph style, so it's just uh, like, yeah. so that's what he means by it when he's at, like the big bone, big guy, thick guy, he's gonna gain fat really easy. Yeah. So anyways, I had my, my revelations. It was actually in pharmacy school and it was kind of a, the wake up calls started happening of, you know, this isn't a normal, I, I can be doing better for myself. So then we started getting into the nutrition aspect of it. The physical fitness side, that really helped again to just start the journeys, lose those yeah. first, you know, 10, yeah. 15 pounds. Yeah. But, um, do you think that's then, a big deal for people? I know I'm kind of interrupting your story, but you yeah, no. like, like, uh, cause obviously exercise isn't the whole scenario to the fat loss thing and everybody tries to make nope. it that way. But do you think it's still, if it is, if fat loss is almost a hundred percent nutrition, which I think it is, yeah. uh, is it still important to do exercise along with it? Yeah. And absolutely the physical activity through and through. And that was part of it. Now I will say I started with exercise. Um, as I moved on, I was just trying to be more active, just yeah. riding my bike to the store, riding sure, my bike sure, to work, sure. things like that. Yeah, you um, started with something and you built, but it. I wasn't really, you know, I wasn't hitting the gym all day, every day, but I had modified my diet at that point where yeah. I was eating, I focused mostly on let's eat more vegetables, got the processed foods out, no sugar, um, added sugars, because it was, I had to break the addiction, get my sure. taste, get my taste buds back to normal. Now apples taste sweet without caramel. All this fruit is very yeah. sweet. You don't need yeah. to do that. And he had to re renegotiate his normal. Exactly. Yeah. That's the, I so I was at that point and I, I actually had good access to a lot of good fresh produce yeah. at the time. So eating tons of that, that's what I loved. I didn't, I didn't count any calories. I didn't count any carbs. I ate as much vegetables as I wanted. Can we, day, can we emphasize day. that for a second? Yeah. He didn't count carbs. He didn't count calories. No. Okay. Two big things. Like, like people that, like, I don't know. I do with people all the time. Yeah. They're like, well, this is how many calories in it. This is, and I just don't see why I'm losing weight. It's like, cause no. it's, it's so subjective. Yep. It's like, uh, like it, it just get it out. Like you're wasting so much and energy on how many calories you're eating when it's like, yeah, we, we need to focus on like other things. We got bigger fish to fry and, than and how for many some, calories you do. Yeah. And for some people, you know, maybe, you know, those apps work where the, I'm, I'm tracking all that. Sure. Well, guess but, what? The food I ate didn't have barcodes. Yeah. So when I'm having exactly. to type it in. Yeah. 
it was too much work. It made it, it made yeah. it work. I totally agree. So I just ate as many vegetables. If it ha maybe that's the thing. Maybe that should yeah. be a strategy. If it has a barcode, you shouldn't be eating it. Maybe that. Maybe not maybe bad, that. Maybe not that's not a bad strategy. Yeah. 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 Now, what I will say is on the exercise side, where this came in, I, I see all these people. You would work out, work out, work out, and then go get your frozen yogurt out. <laughs> and it was working out. Oh, I burned these 800 calories so yeah. I could eat this calorie. Solid justification. But then at the same time. Oh, I'm counting all these calories. I guess what I'm getting at, you're restricting food. Well, in that process, you were restricting your nutrition. Uh, yeah. You were restricting yeah. your vitamin intake. Yeah. At a time when, oh, you're increasing your workout. These people doing yeah. these crazy CrossFit things, yeah. really intense workouts. You mm -hmm. increase your demand for those nutrients more. Yep. I just sped up my metabolism. I'm, I'm burning through stuff. I'm creating free radicals and metabolic waste and restricting my nutrient intake. Yeah, so you can't recover as well. Yeah. yeah. That's actually one of the reasons that, or one of the theories behind the difference between bone density in males versus females is just because males tend to eat more than females because males are typically bigger. That's one sure. That's one of the things, which is kind of interesting. It's kind of interesting theory. Yeah. yeah. Well, and they say, yeah, just having to carry more weight around right. makes yeah. stronger bones. Yeah. But, um, so anyways, I had, I guess, kind of going back to supplements a little bit, there's two sides of it where like I had I had sick patients that weren't gonna eat healthy food. Yeah. So I had to get nutrients in them that way. Mm -hmm. So there's very specific nutrients. You know, I was very important to get them a multivitamin. Um, I know yesterday you talked about why yeah. that wasn't on the top of your list, but that's again a different person. You gotta start somewhere though. Yeah. Like 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 I'm not condemning a multivitamin. No. Multivitamin is perfectly fine. I, I just like to me it's like like I said, it's it's renter's insurance. Yeah. You know, if you got if you got broke if you got if you're renting an apartment and it gets broken into, everything gets stolen and ransacked, yep. you're gonna be thankful that you had that renter's insurance. You yeah. know, if a if a bacteria or whatever comes into your body and you don't have anything to fight it off, well shit. Yeah. That sucks. That's a bummer. You know? So to finish one thought, and I want to get into that there. <laughs> well, so again, when my patients, they were sick and not eating healthy foods, yeah. I needed to make sure they had a multivitamin, the omegas we talked about. Yeah. Um, now if I get someone that's working out and watching what they eat. Mm -hmm. Not watching what they eat, eating, proactively eating good food. Right. Um, I'm not as worried about them having a multivitamin when you're eating eight servings of vegetables in a day. Makes you know, sense. You're, you're getting that. Still, like you said, renter's insurance, I personally still throw a multi on that. Yeah, why not? But, um, Again, for you now, you're getting those good foods in there. I can focus on the vitamin Ds, yeah. some of those more nitpicky things. Um, yeah. But for the person that's not eating the good food, the person on that really restricted diet, yeah. you need those nutrients. Yeah. And the more you work out, the more you need them. So, not only that, like a lot of people, like the people that are coming into me can probably, like, they're, they're ready to exercise, they're ready to make a change, they're ready, you know, like, you're dealing with a different set of hammers, yeah. you know what I mean? So, like, I can say, you're gonna take these three every morning, yeah. whereas, like, some people, just, they just need something so simple, you're only gonna take one of these yeah. every day, that's all you have to do for two weeks here, we have to create this, we need this win, yeah. we need this consistency, you gotta have the guts to do this one, one, yeah. <laughs> one thing every day. If yeah. that's the only thing they change, well, they just took a step forward. Yeah. yeah. So, like, I can get on board with that. Yeah. Uh, I like something you said yesterday. He doesn't even think about um, supplements as it's not a supplement. It's just yeah. a part of the process. I always said, people said, you take that many pills in a day. I don't look at it as a pill, um, say with a multivitamin. It's not a pill. It's another bite of my meal that happens to have all the nutrition in right. it. So yeah. I ate this meal and one of those bites, I, I threw in an omega that had all my mm -hmm. omega threes in it. I threw in yeah. the multi that had the nutritional support. And so I look at it as a bite of my meal, yeah. not a pill that I'm taking. And because it just makes good sense. It's, yeah. it's not like, um, it's not like you're like throwing money down the drain. Yeah. You know, like yeah. a lot, a lot of this is, I think people are just taking it and they're just like, well, I should do this. Yeah. So I do. And it's like, well, that sucks. Yeah. And now I, to, to expand it, well, it's a bite of your meal as long as that pill is using natural yeah. <laughs> sources, natural ingredients. Like I said, those none a days, I say what's, what's cheap to make in a lab and put in a vitamin versus what's found in your food naturally. So yep. my none a day vitamin is not another bite of my meal. Yeah. That is a pill. Or like um, going, going to Costco and getting fish oil because it's half the price of the good fish oil, but yeah. you're only going to get tw only maybe, let's say 20% of that is fish oil. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, you just, you just reduce your cost by 
by 50% to gain 20% when you could have increased your costs and bought 80% exactly. fish oil. You know, like it, it would it, like do the math. So it's yeah, look, look on the back, a lot of these thousand milligram fish oils, you're gonna see 300 milligrams of omega-3s. Mm -hmm. Comparison like our omega, for example, thousand milligrams fish oil, you get 700 milligrams of omega-3s yeah, in that just, same. So it, yeah, I have to take eight of these. To it's not apples and oranges. Yeah. It's like it, it's like an apple and an apple, you know, of an apple. fruit reduction into uh, where it's like seventy percent or seven percent juice, and yeah. it's not really app, you know, it's not yeah. really apple juice. It's seven percent juice. Yeah, it's like what's juice the juice other what's the other ninety three percent? Yeah, <laughs> you know, it's uh, it's it's bogus. So oh. yeah, yeah, you want to make sure that what you're putting in, if fish oil and probiotic. In my experience, the two things like you get what you pay for. Yeah, and you gotta be. You know, and I won't not, even go into the purity quality stuff. That that's a given. You need to find the good sources that you know super pure without the mercury and all that other stuff. All <laughs> that's 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 common funny. sense. The yeah. stuff that we're looking beyond that is actual omega three content. Yeah, um, some other things like that, and then you can get sustainability and all that. That's again important, not a focus. The, right uh, now, yeah, the. The farming of fish oil isn't always yeah. the, uh, yeah, you want, like, some of the practices that, mm -hmm. if you buy a higher, if you buy a higher price point, just real quick, if you buy a higher price point fish oil, it's probably much more morally and ethically collected than if you buy a really cheap one. Yeah. And if you knew what we're talking about here, we're talking about, like, the, what the feet, the fish are fed is other bits and pieces of other dead fish. So they don't get the accumulation of good fatty acids from eating the blue green algae that's in the ocean. Yeah. And so what you're getting is just this watered down, really shitty contaminated product that you probably don't want to put in your body. And that's, and that's the real reason that, uh, that people say that, you, that they don't want, or the doctors say they don't want uh, pregnant women taking fish oils is because of what, the source of where it came from. Yeah. Not a high quality fish yeah, oil. Yeah, absolutely. Um, just to geek out for a second, I'm yeah. done. <laughs> Going back on um, some of the stuff, I, I always liked, um, I don't know if you've ever seen me say this or heard me say it, but I like talking about the three little pigs, um, and it talks about the quality and it's the nutrients. It's gonna be good. I always like this. Um, three little pigs, when, I look at people when we're just looking at, say, carbs, uh, carbs, fat, protein. Yeah. Let's throw in fiber. Sure. Um, fiber's good, gotta have lots of it. We make a fiber, recommend it. Um, <laughs> anyways. <laughs> We'll talk more about that. But either way, so let's just look at those things. And oh, my diet, that's really balanced on fats, carbs, and protein. Well, good for you. Um, I can build a really cheap house with that. Yeah. But to build, so let's, we talk about that as the straw house, the wood house, um, the pig with the three little pigs. Easy for the wolf to come and blow over. I built a real cheap house with real cheap ingredients. To build that really strong house, it takes a lot of different, um, a lot of different materials. So if you start talking about, you know, your foundations, this is some oh, yeah. and things like yeah, that. Totally. Um, I, I compare like say omega threes, that's, that's like insulation on all your wiring. You know, you need that so the house doesn't burn down. Um, antioxidants, that's like your, that's like your fire alarm system and your smoke detectors, if sure. your fire extinguishers, if it does start on fire. So, I don't want to live in a shack of a house. I want to live in a house that can stand the storm. That's what, yeah. what reminded me is you were talking about the bacteria and all that stuff. All these things that are trying to attack us all day. I want to have the strongest, sturdiest house possible for when they come. That means I need all the right materials to build that house. Yeah. So if I look at what are cells built of, it's those nutrients yeah. that aren't in the food of yeah. my sick patients. Yeah, yeah so, exactly. Um, yeah, so and I mean your body, your body is constantly like uh, you guys. I don't, maybe you do, maybe you don't. Your body is constantly under attack by uh, viruses, infections, bacteria, uh, cancers, cell growths that aren't supposed to happen. Your body is constantly dealing with these, and it's winning. It's when there's extra stressors or there's not enough of something, and your body can't win the fight because it doesn't have the troops or it doesn't have the foundation or it doesn't have whatever it is. So you want you want that you want the, the good, strong, sturdy yep. house that the wolf can't, can't that blow the wolf over. can't blow the wolf down. can't yeah. blow, blow it over. Yeah. And I say, and that's not to say a tornado doesn't come and knock your house down. It happens, and it doesn't mean it leaves the straw house completely untouched. We, 
We all know those people that they're completely the unhealthiest people you've ever met in your life, and they live to 100, and yeah. nothing ever's wrong. Then you also know the the really healthy people, the best diets ever, that just you know drop dead, and the worst things happen to them. So we talk about stacking, Everything, yeah, everything's stacking a little the cards in your favor. Subjective, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And everybody's got predispositions to certain things. And yeah. Yeah. You want to give yourself uh, the best chances, though, and that right. means building the strongest house to live in, mm -hmm. um, and that's your body. Uh, you literally are what you eat. I remember that one time my mom had told me, I was in college, poor college student, and she's telling me, you know, with, um, with your limited income and stuff like that, maybe you should lay off some of the organic food that you're eating and, you know, try to spend less on your food. I said, Mom, of all the things that yeah. I'm going to not cut my spending on, it's that. Yeah, um, that's, uh, that's one of the things I say. Like, you're going to pay for your health yeah. one way or another. And if you wait to pay for your health, then you're going to ask other people to come in to pay for it with you. Yeah. You're going to ask your kids, you're going to ask your wife, or your exactly. spouse, or your your husband, yeah. whatever it is, your 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 parents, your other you know, people on your insurance other people, plan. yeah, other people are going to be involved with you paying for your, and you're going to pay for your experiences right here, right now too, because you're yeah. not going to be able to live as vibrant of a life without yeah. the health that you want. You yeah. know, if you don't put good stuff in your body, you're going to suffer. If you don't exercise, you're going to suffer. If you don't sleep, you're going to suffer. If you don't uh, get your head wrapped around some new ideas and new perspectives and challenge that, you're going to suffer. Absolutely. So like, like if you don't get your health in order. You're gonna miss out on yeah. your entire life, and then at the end, you're gonna <laughs> yeah. yeah a bunch of other people are gonna suffer with you. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, cut out the cable TV before I cut out my organic yeah. foods. I cut out the you, you know, should do that anyway. I before. never yeah, understand exactly. cable TV. No, like you pay for commercials. Yeah, and what are you gonna do? You're gonna watch. You're gonna watch the news. You're gonna watch like I don't. Even, I don't even care. Fox, CNN, ABC, NBC. They're all. It's all puke. It's just like like it's all it's garbage. All commercials. And uh, people are like, but I like. CNN or I like Fox News. I'm like, well, that just means that you like their garbage. Their commercials. Like, yeah. Or you like their <laughs> commercials. You but, pay for commercials. It blows my mind. Like, just get, like, it, uh, Rob Steiner's got that quote that, that is getting kind of popular right now that if, uh, if everybody just turned off the news and walked outside and talked to their neighbors, that maybe our country, it wouldn't seem as screwed up as it yeah. is. Um, and it, he's trying to make a, like a positive yeah, yeah. statement. So I realize that could be taken negative. But, but I, I do think like just walking over and shaking somebody's yeah. hand is probably a good idea. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Go to go to the go to the farmers market and get some food and chat with some folks and yeah. yeah. Um, I did want to touch base on uh, yesterday. He talked a lot about probiotics. Uh, yeah. Uh, again, to say when we came from completely different backgrounds and um, how it was fun after all these years to sit down and talk with Adam again and yeah, because I mean uh, to hear when you graduate oh six. Yeah, oh six. Yeah, so it's been on, yeah, it's been yeah. Like ten, a little over ten years. To hear him saying the stuff that I had learned through my endeavors, we came back and we were talking about the same stuff. Um, what he talked about, I, and I'd kind say cool. even through through our company, and myself as well. That's part of the reason I was with this company. We have a firm belief that healing begins in the gut. Yeah. So when we talked about the probiotics and we yeah. was talking about the tube, and we are evolved to live with the bacteria. Yeah. They help us digest our food, absorb the nutrients. They're making anti-inflammatory compounds Real. that go out through our body as long as we have the right ones. Yeah. You eat the wrong food, it supports the wrong bacteria. The whole system starts falling apart. Yeah. So I cannot make you healthy unless we yeah. start here. Because it, it's the most evolved part of you. Yeah. Like there's nothing more evolved in your body or nothing more than your gut. Yep. Your gut is absolutely, it was the first thing. Yep. Even even when you were developing in, inside of your mom, like, it's one of the first things. It formed a tube after the zygote, you know what I mean? And, you know, it's just yeah. like, that's how it goes. Uh, so, yeah, we, and like you said, the second brain with that too. We talked about the second brain a lot. Uh, yeah, there's the whole the enteric, the second, enteric nervous system. Yeah, the I second brain say. is the enteric yeah. nervous system. I can take out your your entire intestines and all that stuff, and it's got its own brain. It, it can operate on its own without you. Um, butterflies in your stomach, yeah, that's your second brain. Yeah, or you just feel like shit after you, like you, you got a headache or something after you ate like a really crappy meal. Like you go to yeah. McDonald's three times a day and you're like, oh, I just feel like crap. Like yeah. I don't know what's going on. Cause you gotta take, you gotta, you gotta go to the bathroom. Yeah. You gotta do number two, you gotta poop it out. Yeah. Yeah. So anyways, so we like to start with, again, healing the gut um, on probiotics. I do like probiotics a lot, especially if you've been through some um, 
you just had some antibiotics oh, or yeah. whatever it might be. Or you haven't eaten a vegetable However, like, in like six years? Yeah, like yeah. you mentioned, the only real probiotics I've seen that are worth taking are expensive. Yep. And so I know people can't afford that all the time. Um, so the general recommendation I have is, yeah, if you have to reestablish, use that a nice, good probiotic. Um, make sure it's not almost to expire because you lose all the potency. Yeah, that's one of the things. Like if you're buying it on Amazon for a discounted rate, it's probably like you, you just save your money. You're just buying a, a, something dead. You just, like you, you're not even buying fiber at that point. Yeah. Like, you're just, so you're something just, something we talk a lot about, and again, our, the fiber we make it's called a prebiotic fiber, and you may hear that term prebiotic versus probiotic. Yeah. Probiotic is the bacteria itself. Prebiotic is the food they eat, which is fiber. Yeah. You mentioned that yesterday. Bacteria love fiber. Yeah. So when I'm eating a bunch of high fiber vegetables, that is supporting the healthy bacteria. When I'm increasing that fiber content every day, it's feeding that. Yeah. Which is that, also why he put fiber in the protein, fat, carbohydrate. Because yeah. like those are your macronutrients. Kyle actually, in, in Kyle's opinion, and I, like yeah. I think it's like it's kind of a genius way to yeah. think about it. Is like you should put fiber in as one of your macronutrients, even yeah. though it doesn't provide you any energy. It does provide you a a stable. Yeah. Like, it feeds your bacteria. Yeah, it feeds and you your gotta feed your bacteria. Yeah, for real. Uh, yeah. So that's uh, a real easy way. So like I said, we can reestablish. Um, you know. A bad microbiome with with a expensive probiotic yeah. but then we can maintain it with that fiber um, and that can be a more cost-effective way if it is prohibitive then you can that money you save on the probiotic you can use on a better quality fish oil or yeah. vitamin or yeah. better produce or whatever it might be um, fiber I'll say is one of our top selling items that is we have right? absolutely mm -hmm. um, and the nice thing a lot of fibers out there they have a ton of sugar in them they have <laughs> they're clumpy, they're disgusting, they taste they, awful. We have they, one that's they, flavorless. They cause explosions. Yeah. We have a completely soluble, <laughs> sugar-free. Soluble one. fiber is, okay, this is, this is a significant yeah. thing. Because most fiber supplements are actually insoluble fiber. So that's like a freight train moving through you. Where yeah. soluble fiber is like a gel. It's going to slow everything down. It's going to gunk. And, uh, and yeah. it's, it's two different fibers. You want both. But soluble yeah. fiber is probably one of the ones that you that people get less yeah. of. Like uh, uh, like if you eat oatmeal, the goopy stuff that makes it all yeah. goopy, that's, yeah. sol that's soluble fiber. You want that in your diet. Yeah. And so yeah, the, and the soluble, the bacteria digest that easier than the insoluble. I mean, think of insoluble almost, uh, they use psyllium husk a lot. Think of it like yeah. popcorn kernels. It's a lot more work <laughs> for the bacteria to break that down. Soluble, it's already in solution. Did you guys, they break it down. Did you guys just get an image in your head when he yeah. said that? <laughs> So, um, so, and a fun thing with fiber, that's something that we've known for decades, mm -hmm. is helps with heart disease and cancer and all sorts of things. Uh, your, your cholesterol will be lower if you get enough fiber. Yeah. And it's in all these fortified foods. Yet, the last national survey on it was showing that fewer than 5% of the population gets the recommended fiber. I'm not surprised at all. What yeah. is the recommended fiber? I don't even so, know. I stopped looking at that stuff so long ago yeah. because it, it's such garbage. Like, the well, yeah, government does not have your best interests at no. heart. I guarantee you. It, it, like, and, the, and I'm not, yeah, like, and I, and I am talking about nutrition in this case, but I'm sure it's in, yeah. like, just about everything. They do not have your best interests at heart. They, and, they, they're ruling a, an entire nation of people. So, yeah. And a fun, it's a different and, deal. Yeah, most smart doctors and nutritionists, whatever. Yeah, there's making but so so they recommend in general, and this is not just the government. This is other organizations. They estimate about 13 grams per thousand calories that you eat. Okay. A day. That's nothing. Um, it's not. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but people aren't reaching that. <laughs> people That's aren't so getting that. Yeah. And I would say even higher than that, um, especially in the solubles stuff like that. You can really go higher. I mean. Mm -hmm. Think of a big, big bowl of salad. You, you get a lot of fiber there, but we can do more. Um, but the fact so few people are reaching it, despite all the fortified foods, despite yeah. all the knowledge about it, we're still coming short. Yeah, it. so like, that's and a, it's an interesting thing, and that's a lot of the reason I talk a lot about the mindset stuff in here, or yeah. some of it. With uh, there's so much stuff within the mindset portion of nutrition, because obviously, like people, I think people basically know that a Snickers bar is not as good as an apple if you're looking for fat loss, but they almost always choose the Snickers bar. Yeah. You know, like, so like, where does the mindset come into this for like why people are not, like everybody knows this is gonna help me live longer, it's gonna help me live better. There's so much mindset stuff around it, like, yeah. but they can't make the change. Yeah. Like what was it for you that helped you make the change, for instance? Uh, 
It was going back to what is real food. Really? It was the real food thing. This is what our bodies were designed to eat and digest, and it's going to operate better sure. when I give it what this is what we've always ate. That's, yeah. Um, yeah, it went back to like you, like your kindergarten education of of nutrition. Yeah. Like vegetables are good. Yeah. Like you watch Bambi and you, you, you heard uh, Thumper's mom say, you know, stop eating that blossom and start eating the, the clover or whatever, right? Yeah. You know, or whatever it was. I don't remember that. But that's yeah. <laughs> that's the only part of the movie I remember. So like, uh, you know, like I think when Bambi, when his dad walks in, yeah. I'm just like, ah, oh, that's, that's cool. But yeah, um, I, to touch real quick, I know we're probably running out of time, but real quick. We're getting on, close. Yeah. Like um, he said, as far as those daily recommendations, why I don't listen to a lot of those. Um, oh, yeah. A lot of them, most people don't know where that 100% daily value came from. Um, I have newsletters about this, which by by the way, um, pinnaclife.com, we can put the link down there on Facebook as well. I do newsletters on um, health topics as yeah. well. We'll be trying to share um, yeah. some more of that. So if you have intro, shoot us a message, whatever. Um, let us know if you're interested in any products. We'll get you some samples or some things like that. Um, Adam knows how to get them too, so check with him. And um, yep. So if you have any curious questions we'd love to answer them for you but anyway so yeah I have a newsletter on daily value and where that number came from was back in World War II era um, they this looked at the, thing. the standard person which to them was about a hundred and fifty pound male yeah. at about five foot six um, so for a five foot six hundred fifty pound male I think it was 150 I have the numbers at home I don't remember it was like uh, 150 or 170 years. it yeah. was, it was a, like an average size dude yeah. it was just like mr. average yeah yeah which is much smaller than today's average um, yeah. either way it was how much do they need for 95 percent of people of that size and shape to not become deficient yeah and when I say not deficient, to not become deficient what so that, that means 95 percent of a hundred say vitamin C 100 yeah. percent daily value vitamin C that's a 95 percent of these 150 pound guys make eating that much won't get scurvy yeah won't yeah yeah they won't get berry berry they won't get pellagra they won't get rickets I'm sorry but I want to do better than just barely scraping by on deficiency yeah. and again I'm much over 150 so do I need more probably um, so vitamin C, that's enough to not get scurvy. How much to boost my immune yeah. system? Yeah, and you saw like this goes into you the know. two thousand calorie diet. It comes into the hundred when you see hundred percent on the yeah. side, and then there's like there's like a gram or an IU yeah. or a kilogram. Or we don't kilogram yeah. a lot, but um, or like milligram is what I meant to say. So you got milligram grams, you know. But over here where it says percentage, what he's talking about is the percentage, and it's to, it's it's complete bogus. Yeah. That they made all this stuff up, and they're just like, and even the two thousand calorie. I think it actually came out to like. Two two thousand two hundred forty. Yeah, yeah, and they were like, ah, yeah, let's just make yeah. it two thousand. Yeah, that's not. People will remember two thousand. Yeah, they won't remember. People probably need to eat less anyway, right? Yeah, and they may, and, and they might, but like the idea, the idea that you're only like you tell me to eat only two thousand calories. Oh my yeah. god, I did that this morning already. Yeah, <laughs> that's serious. And yeah, and the same idea on that too with. Um, so, well, so kind of what are you saying? You can't trust those numbers. They just they, they haven't updated them. No one's looking at them and updated them. Not enough, and it's it's really yeah. short sighted when they have. So even say vitamin D you talked about yesterday, daily recommended intake. I'll say four hundred to eight hundred units. Yes, that's, that's yeah, I, two thousand for everybody, bare minimum. Yeah, um, every Seriously. day. Um, Especially if you're if you're like black or well, the, or even slightly yeah. dark skinned, you know, like yeah. like you probably need a little bit more. Or if you're like we're sitting inside right now. Yeah. Oh, I can go outside and get vitamin D, but we're inside at work. Yeah. Um, I have a shirt on, so I'm not getting right. it on my back. It's just hit my arms. <laughs> Either way, vitamin D. They actually looked and found that that daily recommended. There was a group. I think it was out of Creighton and. Um, UCLA or something like that. Again, I have this info back home, but you said um, a lot of studies. They actually. did a study. They went back and crunched all those numbers, and they figured out there was a miscalculation. A ten. They missed a decimal point essentially. They crunched all the numbers, and and really they found out that that four hundred units a day probably should be four thousand units a day. Yeah. And even with that new research, even knowing they flubbed the numbers. They still haven't gone back and updated those numbers yet. And this isn't like six months ago this was found out. No, this is maybe in the past three to five years, I believe, is when those numbers came yeah. out. Yeah, and, so and they've had time to Vitamin D research 
like the big explosion of vitamin D research started like when I was coming into the, the like there was more studies coming out on vitamin D in my first two years of this than yeah. had been done. I, I don't know. It was all these like twenty and thirty year studies that were wrapping up. Yeah, you know, and it all came out. And so it's this is ten years later, and nobody's yeah. even said a word about it. And same thing on that with oh, so they'll say your blood levels need to get above 30, 32. That's for osteoporosis. That's for bone density. <laughs> but if you want to get into protecting your heart, protecting, yeah. you know, boosting your immune system, the uh, cancer protection they talk about, you're talking about blood levels in the 50s, 60s, 70s, even higher. Primates, yeah. monkeys out in the field, they are in the hundreds. So a lot of there's a lot of misinformed people that are getting at 30 and saying, you're good. You're above 30. You're fine. Yeah. Sure. If you're only worried about your bones. What, are the, what about the people who think that it's toxic because it's fat soluble versus water soluble? Yeah. So and your body doesn't have the protective, somehow it doesn't have the ability to yeah. get rid of it. Uh, the toxicity that comes with vitamin D generally has more to do with the calcium. Um, because you, we all know vitamin D helps absorb calcium. Uh, calcium. So when people get too much vitamin D, generally what the toxicity is, is hypercalcemia, too much calcium in the blood. You have to go very high, very high on vitamin D. What's it's very well high? Give me a number. So like I said, blood levels way above in the hundreds. We know primates live fine in the hundreds. They don't really start seeing that toxicity for vitamin D until you're getting in the hundreds. Most of us, like I was taking, um, what was it, 12,000 units a day mm -hmm. to get my blood levels to 7,000. Or to, to 70. Yeah. I wanted my blood levels was, at 70. Was, yeah. It was 12,000 units a day. And I'm a guy, I'm out in the sun a lot. Um, when I can be, I'm out in the sun. I judge my summers based on how long my tan line sticks around <laughs> on my sandals and stuff. So, um, so yeah, I thought I was getting a lot of vitamin D and I'd been using supplements. I got my blood tested and was at like 36 or something. Yeah. So I bumped it way up to 12,000. And then got it up to about 70 and I tried to yeah. maintain it. There. Yeah, so, that makes sense. But yeah, toxicity, you would not even start to see until the 120s. You'd have to work. So you've got a long way You'd have a lot. Uh, at that point, vitamin D yeah. would get pretty expensive. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, the, the interesting thing about vitamin D, like uh, you talked about calcium a little bit. A lot of people think that taking extra calcium mm -hmm. will actually help them lay down new bone tissue. No. Whereas magnesium and vitamin D have much, much yeah. more to do with bone density than calcium yeah. does like so calcium, actually, and calcium it, it, I'm not saying calcium doesn't have a role in your body no. but it doesn't have much of a role in bone health other than yeah. that your bones are mostly made of calcium so that's one of our products is actually called d3 plus magnesium but it also has calcium we don't put the calcium on the label or we don't put it on the front we just call it d3 plus magnesium calcium and magnesium work together yeah calcium causes muscles to constrict magnesium yeah. relaxes them when all these years people have been doing calcium, 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 they're overbuilding that, they're depleting their magnesium. Now guess what we see? We're seeing heart arrhythmias, we're seeing high blood pressure because all those blood vessels are constricting and they can't relax. The yeah. heart's constricting, it can't relax. We get muscle cramping because yeah. they're constricting, can't relax. Yeah. So we do a magnesium-calcium balance and like you said with bones, your bones aren't just made of calcium. They're made of Calcium, magnesium, phosphorus, you need vitamin K, you need boron, you need silicon, you need all these nutrients to make healthy See? bones. Nerd, man. Yes. <laughs> Nerd now. So, uh, geek it, do it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and that's when you see, oh, all these years of the osteoporosis meds that they've used that help with calcium, trying to deposit them, and they made, they made denser, brittle bones. Yeah. So they real. packed a bunch of calcium in there, but the matrix is bad to where they're brittle and they snap. So, yeah. It's, it's just short-sighted. Kept on adding straw to the straw yeah. house, huh? Yeah, exactly. More <laughs> straw, more straw. But yeah, no, that's really. That's. Did you see the? Um, it's been a little while now, but they did. Uh, they were trying to see why certain women were having um, arsenic buildup in their body, no. and they went and they traced it back to. Uh, all of the women had one thing in common they were taking a calcium supplement and they had been taking it for like 30 years every day because yeah. their doctor told them to yeah. and what they found was that each one of them was taking that uh that the calcium like apparently most supplement calcium supplements are uh harvested from oyster shell yeah and the area that they were harvesting the oyster shell had trace amounts of arsenic in the water and so these women over the cor like course of 30 years were building up and building up and building up mm -hmm. and trace amounts of arsenic in their body to the point that they were getting sick and yep. then they had to go through all these treatments to get rid of it. It's kind of a yep. like 
this idea that you, it's just giving more credence to that. Like you don't need to just be shoving calcium, 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 calcium down. No. To try to have, yeah. And it, it, it kind of a, a similar thing like iron, like, like uh, for people who are anemic, it yeah. doesn't mean that you just pound iron into your body. No. Yeah. You know, that's, <laughs> I know we're going over on time, but uh, that's all right. iron, so, and I'll say, first of all, we don't have iron in any of our supplements for good reason. Um, it is responsible for more accidental poisonings than about any nutrient out there. Um, kids getting into it, et cetera. Yeah, it's, it's, the, it's, the, it's the biggest killer of any, yeah. any supplement that there is. Um, yeah. Never mind the fact it's absorbed better on its own. So on, like on an empty stomach, something acidic. So if I put it in my multivitamin, I just put it in there with a bunch of stuff that's gonna block its absorption. Right. All it's gonna do is give me an upset stomach and maybe constipate me a little bit. So like, <laughs> I iron, really will get iron in the big upset stomach too. Bad idea. Yeah. But what I used to work at a plasma center before I went to pharmacy school, and we tested hemoglobin. And I can't tell you how many times people would come in. Oh, you have low hemoglobin. Um, go take some iron, and maybe next week you can donate. I, I shudder when I hear that now. Of just like no, because it doesn't work. Like yeah, that. and you don't know why you were anemic. Yeah. Yes, yes, iron deficiency is one type of anemia. So is pernicious anemia. That's B12 deficiency, folate deficiency. That's megaloblastic anemia. Yeah. I and think some I people can't right. even absorb folate, so that becomes like that yeah. becomes like a, a problem in their body too because they're sitting here just yeah. shoving folate in their body, especially like uh, like pregnant women. They can't absorb it. Yeah, and it, it becomes it's killing them. So yeah, are you anemic because you don't have enough iron, or because it's not B12, or maybe you have a blood cancer? And I mean, worst case scenario, and, that's a know, bad one. But yeah, yeah, it, it's a real bad one. But again, I can't assume that I'm yeah. low blood or low Besides blood that, like, means iron. So don't just throw iron at it. A doc, oh, you need a blood test to determine if you need iron. Yeah, because it, hemoglobin is very much like a like a lot like a muscle. Like it needs to be able to to move quickly, like to be able to do things. It it has to relax and reach and, and constrict, kind of like it has to yeah. drop off. And then you know, it has to be able to drop what it's carrying, yeah. and then return. You know, what I mean? like it's not like hemoglobin is a super interesting, yeah, little deal that goes on inside your body. Yeah. Like when you, re yeah, hemoglobin's cool. and it's a protein, so without the right <laughs> amino acids, it doesn't fold right, and you get all sorts of issues. But um, <laughs> is that your segue into veganism? Yes, everyone should be a vegan all time. No, <laughs> that's that's his, that's so. like he he's saying he's saying that extremely sarcastically. Yeah. No, yeah. I, I, we talked about this one time. I've said um, vegan diets, I think they're a really good exercise in learning to eat vegetables in different ways. I think 100%. it's a real, try it for two weeks and yeah. just, you're gonna learn so many different new foods yeah. and how to eat They're so vegetables. creative, it's, a, yeah. it's amazing. It's like a lesson in how creative humans yeah. are. They're, and if it uh, works for you, fine. Yeah. I, it doesn't, I, I mean. I give vegans a hard time, but at the same time, yeah. like you can be plant-based and still eat meat. Like, yeah. You should be eating a ton and tons of vi uh, vegetables, like being yeah. vegan for a week or two, you're probably not gonna feel very good that week yeah. or two, like, and your sheets are gonna be floating. But other yeah. than that. And that's something too, um, people on vegan diets, or vegetarian for that matter, a lot of times they think um, you, you have to worry about protein. You can get a lot of veggie-based protein out sure. there. Um, it's gonna be tough. To but the, the nutrients that are really hard to get in a vegan diet or vegetarian, vitamin B12, yeah. Um, not a lot of plant sources for it, no kidding. if any. Seriously. Um, coenzyme Q10, mm -hmm. CoQ10, uh, you talked about that yep. yesterday. Couldn't Super important. Super um, important. Which we've got 50 milligrams in our multivitamin, shameless plug. Um, it's not shameless, like, no, no. like do exactly. it, dude. Yeah. Like, like you, you're selling health here. Like if you yeah. don't sell it, then you're the scumbag, dude. <laughs> like you gotta sell that stuff. So yeah, and a lot, of, a lot of vitamins don't have CoQ10. And like you said, it's an expensive thing. We've added 50 milligrams in it, it doesn't, it doesn't mess with the cost of our vitamin. It's, it's still affordable, but that's impressive. Um, so, anyways, yeah, B12, CoQ10, um, carnitine, also in our vitamin. Um, Something else that's heavy in uh, beef that isn't necessarily heavy in. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that's the deficiencies you worry about on vegan. There are some deficiencies you have to worry about on vegan yep. diets. Um, yep. Some very serious ones. Not, yeah. not Pro to mention protein, just protein. Not so much. Yeah. Uh, but it, like you can get for it's hard. You can get it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and low calorie sources of protein. Like so you were talking about that with beans and tofu. Yeah, there's protein there, but you have to eat a lot of carbs to, yeah. get, to get that. So. That idea that, oh, beans are a protein source. It's like, yeah, it's just, there's protein in the beans. Yeah. Well, let's get real. Like, there's proteins gonna, in Are you gonna say that about chocolate milk too? Yeah. Yeah, like, come on. Yep, and milk is not a good source of vitamin D. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a good source of calcium. That's one of my favorite ones. It, it, that's a marketing thing. Yeah. Like, and nothing wrong with marketing things. Like, no. 
like at, on some level, uh, the people who are putting out a good message need to get better at marketing things, need to get better at putting out a good message, yep. need to have the power behind like a good sales pitch because otherwise, like none of this stuff is ever going to matter. Like if yeah. you guys do, if you guys share this, if you think this is a great message and you share this, that gives this message power. Whereas like like hopefully we get like Kyle and I both get better at marketing and better at our message and better at so that we can uh, have some competition to go against places like yeah. Monsanto and Tyson and yeah. uh, these really kind of immoral putting out there. There's just bullshit products that they're. And I'm gonna go as far as say Subway also. <laughs> I hope Subway just falls on its face. It's such garbage. <laughs> Let me convince you that a whole loaf of bread is healthy. Yeah. And I'm going to give you the calories, but then I'm going to coat it with mayonnaise. Yeah. And you're going to lose weight. Oh, and it's fresh. They're fresh. They're, they're fresh ingredients that have sat in a plastic bag for the last 12 to 16 weeks. Yeah. Eat them. Uh, <laughs> I just completely blinded. Oh, yeah. The uh, vitamin D in the milk thing. I, I oh, have yeah. a lot of people say that, too, as far as, Don't I get oh, I drink, I drink a lot of milk. Well, that's the thing is I calcium. For, I forget the where do you, If you don't drink milk, where do you get your calcium? Well, but I forget the exact amount, but to get, like you say, the 2,000 units of vitamin D in a day yeah. from milk, you're talking like two gallons of milk in a day, which don't, don't impressive. drink two gallons of milk. Um, same thing we talked about, uh, like our supplements, we use a lot of red wine, grapevine extract, resveratrol, if you've heard of that. Um, sure. The antioxidants sure. in there. You can get it from red wine. Do not try to get it from red wine, like a glass wine, but I um, <laughs> Drinking wine is not supplementing resveratrol. You can get it from uh, healthier <laughs> sources than that. So uh, there's a lot of nutrients. I, I really think like when it comes to alcohol, like a lot of people like to scoff at alcohol, but I think alcohol is that thing that just, uh, it's like the medium by which people allow themselves to relax. And I think the relaxation yeah. is, you know, like, uh, like the nightly jog. Yep. Like if someone goes on a jog for five minutes every night or a walk around the block, like I think like that's really where the benefit comes yeah. in. It's just like you allowed yourself to just, Turn things off for a minute. Yeah, I breathe. think that's where the health benefits are of red wine. I don't think it's in the nutritional yeah. aspect of the. There are, I mean, the polyphenols sure, and stuff yeah. in there, but yeah. Like, yeah, there's obviously good stuff in yeah. there, but where where's the big money maker? Yeah. Just taking a breather. Man. Yeah, just sitting down, relaxing a little bit. Yeah, chatting with a friend or or no one at all. <laughs> <laughs> if you're if you're in my house, that's how it's probably gonna go. But but yeah. Any, uh, well, where can they follow you? Um, yeah, so, so pinnaclife.com. Um, like I said, we can post the um, spelling of that, but P I N N, <laughs> I gotta look, P I N N A C L I F E.com. Um, we're also on Facebook. Like I said, we'll be kind of sharing some things there. Um, Adam, if you, if you pop in his gym here, like I said, he knows we're, we're out of Iowa City too, technically Coralville, but, um, but yeah, we're right down the street. Keep it local. Yep. And actually, yeah, we've got a warehouse of our products about three three buildings over here. So um, we're over in the area. So if you do have any questions, he knows how to find us. Find us online. He said, shoot us a message. We're happy to work with you as far as getting you. If you want to try some products out, um, sample them. Just have questions, anything like that. Um, we're happy to do that. So cool. anything, any other pearls of wisdom that you want to leave them with before you before we take off? Uh, on the spot, pearls of wisdom. What do you yeah. got? Quote of the day. No, I'm kidding. You don't even have to say anything. Yeah, well, no. I mean, I guess you only get one body in your life. Well, it depends on where technology goes, I guess. That's a whole <laughs> But no, it is. You're going to go real you good are, now. You are what you eat. Um, you need to put good good in to get good out. Yeah. And it's it starts there. Um, and if you're not putting good in, it's really hard to expect anything good to come out. So Seriously. Um, yeah, your words of wisdom. My words of wisdom? Yeah. I do. I, I, I drop bombs on here all the time. <laughs> now, uh, what did I write down for mine this morning? Um, some, something about like, like owning the responsibility of your life. Like, yeah. like uh, we talked a little about, about the government not having your best interest in a nutrition game. Like, nobody's coming to save you in this. You know, nobody's coming yeah. to do it for you. We can, like, I can't actually jump into your body and make you eat certain things or not other things like you have to take the responsibility for this and that's a that's it's a two way like it sounds like oh god that's so harsh and awful and I don't know if I have it in me to do that but one you don't have a choice and two what greater freedom is there than to have that responsibility now it's all on you you can't blame anybody else but at the same time whew, 
you're in the driver's seat, man. Like, you get to go. Like, you get to take this for everything that it is, and it's your life, you know? But, yeah, that was just on the spot. Yeah. That's was, that, was that good? Was now, that good? now my new words of wisdom is always write down some words of wisdom every yeah. day. So then yeah. if you put on the spot, you know what to say. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, check us out. Um, hopefully we have some more of these going on, too. So it's always it's too easy to talk sometimes. So, like I said, yesterday's thing, we could we could talk all day on about yeah. Every every sentence he said, I go all day. So do me a favor, guys. If you want to see Kyle back on the show again sometime, you want to hear more geeking out stuff <laughs> you know, and the nutrition. Thing. I'll go geekier too. <laughs> Tone it up or down. Whatever. Yeah, he used the small words today. Yeah. Uh, you, you should you, you should be the fly on the wall when when, uh, when he's sitting here telling me stuff that I can kind of halfway <laughs> understand. Um, comment below and uh, and and say if you want Kyle back on the show or not. I think I think people are probably gonna. Pretty supportive of that. But anyway, thanks I, for being I here, man. I really appreciate it. No, appreciate you, it too. Oh, we even do the pleasure. We're, we're doing, doing a handshake. handshake. Yeah. All right. Thanks, guys, for being here. I really appreciate it. Please slap the share button, send this message out. Uh, the more you guys share this stuff, the more you like it, the more power it gives to this message, and uh, the better everybody can be. On, like, I'm an extreme idealist, so I know that that sounds really idealistic, but. I really, I do believe that we can help billions of people in a positive way. I think that I like, but I'm not going to do it all alone. There's no way that I can shake enough hands to affect billions of people in a positive way. Um, but I can if more and more people jump on the bandwagon and start putting their, th themselves first and getting their health in order. So thanks for being here, guys. Uh, I really appreciate it. Kyle does too. Thanks.